when the going gets tough. The tough get going, 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 going. I'm Kilani Downa. I just want to give you guys a brief introdu introduction to who I am. So as I said, my name is Kilani. I'm a beach volleyball player and I currently train with the national team here in Singapore. I was born and raised here and I'm currently 17 years old and I have a scholarship to continue my beach volleyball career at Tulane University in Louisiana, USA. I often felt unmotivated and it seemed like something that I oftentimes didn't really want to commit to. It wasn't something that got me out of bed early in the morning and something that inspired me to go to the gym and train. But as soon as I began beach volleyball, I found not only my passion but also my heart and this obviously inspired me to do everything that was necessary. So of the seven habits listed in Sean Covey's book, I think there are three main ones that really stood out for me in my journey and that would be habit one, be proactive, habit two, begin with an end in mind, and habit three, put first things first. All of the other ones also play a big part in it, but I feel that these three summarize the large parts of it. But for the first habit, being proactive, it's about always looking a step ahead, you know. You always have to compete against yourself. And this was for me specifically. I almost, I made it a game against myself. When, whenever I reached a point that I goaled for, obviously, you know, I took the time to celebrate it. I was excited. I finally got the skill down that I wanted to get. But then, as soon as I finished celebrating it, I moved on and looked at my next goal. And this was because I always wanted to try to become the best version of myself. I always wanted to do everything I knew that I could possibly do to make sure that I was going to do 100% maximum effort of everything. For habit number two, begin with an end in mind. Um, this one, I think I agree with in part. I think part of it was um, in my journey. When I started beach volleyball, I knew that I wanted to receive a scholarship to continue my sport career in university. I always had that as a goal, and that was the thing, as I mentioned, that got me out of bed at 7 in the morning to go train, when, you know, obviously it'd be really easy to just go back to sleep. However, what's important is that I didn't just focus on the result, and this is what I mean by I agree with this one in part. I don't think that it's important to just focus on your goal because that can lead to you not enjoying the process. Instead, I focused on the journey, made sure that I enjoyed what I was doing, and made sure that I was also doing everything I could do to be the best version of myself. 
I just had that end point in my mind to inspire me to do the things that I didn't necessarily want to do, but the things that I knew were important. For habit number three, putting first things first. This one really, really stands out to me. I believe that when you have a goal, you need to make it your priority. You know, there were so many times in my journey where my friends invited me out for dinner with them or for a movie night, and I had to decline because I had training or I had training the next morning, so I had to go to bed early. It was hard to say no to friends, there's no doubt about that, but I knew that I had a goal in mind and I knew that this was the way for me to reach it. For me, there were no excuses, no procrastination, and I knew I just had to do it. I think those three habits are the ones that definitely stick out to me the most from my journey, and they sure were important ones. Finding my heart and passion in beach volleyball was one of the greatest and best turning points.